DHCP is a topic that you're guaranteed to see questions on the 70-642 exam and so let's go through it now give you just some, a real brief overview of what it is and kind of some gotchas and some things you need to be aware of for the exam most of this is just pure basic DHCP now first of all DHCP means dynamic host configuration protocol and it means just exactly what it says if every computer on our network has to have a unique IP address a network ID or a subnet mask and a default gateway and DNS information and so forth then we need some way to configure that stuff now in the early days of networking we did every machine manually and they had static addresses that never changed this was a huge pain because administrators would fat finger addresses and things wouldn't work we would inadvertently give two machines the same IP address and they didn't report that back then they would just intermittently work or not work and this was a problem now what's interesting is early on and gosh this would have been 10 15 years ago we saw DHCP as a security risk and wouldn't use it until it kind of grew up and then we realized as our networks got larger and larger uh, this was where we were going to have to go with it and it was actually more secure because once we got it working it just worked so this is ultimately automatic configuration of your IP address your subnet mask and any other information not any other but a lot of other information that you'll need to put on that machine now this requires for DHCP to work it means you must have a DHCP server on the subnet with that user's computer because as you'll see in a minute that user's computer is going to broadcast when it starts up now if your client is not on the same subnet as the DHCP server you'll have to have a relay agent and the relay agent will see that broadcast for a DHCP server and it will pass that request through a router to a DHCP server and then uh, kind of work on behalf and, and proxy that back and forth we'll get into that different video now the way we set up a DHCP server is it is a Windows Server 2008 role and in a different video we will actually go through this process and add that role in just so you can see what that looks like okay so we're looking at a server 2008 role and it's going to automatically configure our clients for us now let's look kind of in a, with a little diagram here about what's happening so a user comes in in the morning they flip their computer on and as it boots up we have a DHCP server out on the network on that subnet where that user is or we have a way for them to reach a DHCP server so as it's coming up it broadcasts and what it is actually passing is a DHCP discover packet and you do need to know these four steps for the exam so the first step is is the client machine broadcasts a DHCP discover message the DHCP server sees it and it responds with a DHCP offer it's basically saying oh wait here I am yeah I can take care of you now the reason we're doing this is because there could be two DHCP servers that hear this broadcast and we want to make sure that we don't step on each other or assign two IP addresses or any of that kind of stuff so the DHCP server responds with a DHCP offer and then the client responds back saying okay yeah I'll do business with you go ahead and send me some information send me some configuration information for the subnet that I'm on and the server sends it back and it is called a DHCP ACK or acknowledgement okay so that's the four steps discover offer request and ACK make sure you know those before you go set the exam because you will see questions about that now a DHCP server once we set this up it is actually a list or a small database of addresses that we can give out to clients now the way it's arranged is in scopes there can be one or more scopes on a DHCP server now a scope is simply a range of IP addresses based on a single subnet so we might have you know 15.1.0.0 to 15.1.0.255 so all those addresses can be handed out we can also provide subnet masks to hand out and we can provide default gateway information to hand out 
and we can also tell it whether it's a subnet, what subnet type. And we can check that, and what we're going to do here is give out the address for different amounts of times. If it's wired or you're on a wired network, then I, it's like uh, six days, seven days, I'm going blank here, okay? But on a wireless network, it's like eight hours, okay? So what you need to know really here is that the wireless network is in a matter of hours because we want that address to expire and that computer to drop off the network if it can't renew it. Now, here's the thing you have to watch. Notice it's in all caps. Once you create the scope in the DHCP server, you have to activate it before it will answer DHCP discover packets and actually offer and provide addresses. So the scope has to be activated. If you go in and deactivate the scope, it will stop providing addresses. Now, you can also set options, and you'll see this again a little bit later on, but this is where we get that additional configuration data. DNS server addresses, WIN server addresses, and so forth, and there's actually over 60 addresses you can give out out there, okay? Uh, other information you can give out along with the basic DHCP information. So that's the basics of DHCP. Now coming up in a couple of other videos, uh, we'll go set up the role and look at some of these options and classes and talk about some exclusions and reservations and just kind of get you well-rounded on DHCP.